Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Hot off the press is news that we kind of expected, but it seemed like EA never really wanted to tell us. It took leaks to tell us that today is the day. Team of the Season warm-up series is going to begin, which kind of signals the start of Team of the Season, if you will, because a lot of people are going to start saving packs for Team of the Season today, and that's kind of what this whole promo is about so that's what we're going to talk about today but what packs will we be getting will ea re-release anything in packs like a best of and how's that going to impact the market all that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's talk about thursday's content really fast because ea took away some of the content that they released yesterday because they made a mistake with it and we got to talk about these player spcs we had not one but two sets of showdown spcs now there's only one showing for me right now frederick jensen versus sebastian Haller. that is the first showdown that was released yesterday guys these are not real life games between these clubs these are virtual games basically pro fifa players pro pro fc24 players are going to be facing off in the next two weeks i think is when these games are going to be played and these cards update based on those matches the first one being Haller and jensen i mean they're both really cheap Thirty thousand coins for the, each of them i did Haller instantly jensen might be a good complete as well decent play style pluses ping pass and power shot so boom there you go pretty easy and pretty cheap and the potential to upgrade with of course whoever wins that game getting a plus two now the other sbcs dropped yesterday were alexandro and caputo and ea made a mistake with these and if you're wondering nate where is this alexandro sbc because a lot of people were doing it straight away when it was released ea had to take it away here's the story right there was an issue with the title and descriptions of the alexandro and caputo sbcs they took them away while they investigate and they said impacted players will be messaged in game in the coming days so they really just said they're gonna figure out what's wrong which we know what is wrong when they released the sbcs yesterday it showed a picture of the caputo card but the title and description of the sbc said alexandro and vice versa now here's the thing as you look on footbin and you see the price you notice that caputo's card is a lot more expensive than alexandro and alexandro is cheap ea meant for alexandro to be the 90 or 89,000 coin sbc but they messed up right and they made him the cheaper sbc only an 85 rated squad so quickly as this sbc came out yesterday i was able to get this card done it is a decent card. He can play center back, which is where a lot of people were hyped to do this SBC, especially for the price that it was. Um, whipped pass plus and jockey. I mean, he's got power shot, slide tackle, rapid, and first touch. Not really a center back, the way the card is formatted, except for the work rates. I mean, 90 pace is nice. He's got really good dribbling and passing. And the whipped pass plus two but for the price it was kind of like okay this could be pretty good also people are putting this card into the unleashed potential evolution taking him to an 89 and if the juve esports team however this is being played i think there's a loading screen talks about the e A. if juve win this game this card would go to a plus two so if he's an 89 if he's evolved to an 89 he could go to a 91 so if you're a big fan of uve there's potential for that there i don't know when these sbc are, are going to come back i don't even know what they're going to do for compensation for this like if you did the sandro sbc like a lot of people did uh then you know it kind of said caputo's name at the top so yeah guys i don't know what they're going to do for that i guess we're going to see a message in game we're still awaiting compensation in some other areas especially for like the david beckham fodder from a couple of was that last week or a week and a half ago we're still awaiting some of that so that was yesterday's content in terms of the showdown SBCs. Now we had yet again another player SBC, the last golazo player. Can't skip this one because it's actually a decent SBC too. Hidetoshi Nakata. We finally got the Golazo hero Nakata that we were looking for. It is also a one squad SBC and uh, he's decent, right? Four star, five star with finesse plus and ping pass plus. If you run a Serie A team um, or if you just need somewhere to put some fodder, this is not a terrible place to put it. 34 aggression is kind of the funniest stat on this card, but he has really good stats elsewhere. 97 volleys, 94 shot power. And of course, he has that finesse plus, which we a lot of us really, really love. So not a bad price here. 74,000 coins for that Nakata. Also, 
Marquee Matchups gives out a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. That is a really solid pack for MMs this week. If you want to go ahead and grind that, you've got Newcastle, Tottenham that are in there, and some other ones as well. Um, they've kind of stopped. I, I don't pay attention to Marquee Matchups that much, but they've kind of stopped requiring players from specific clubs. It's more so just the nations and the leagues, which I think's help, think helps marquee matchups end up being a little bit cheaper. So that was yesterday's content, very SBC based, a lot more players than we really expected, but it was honestly that mistake with the Sandro that made things the most interesting. Now, a couple of things happening on the market because we had Europa League games yesterday. Some players lost, some players won. You can tell who lost, right? Milan lost. Rafael Liao is down bad from over 3 mil to about 2.5 mil. Romelu Lukaku, in the other hand, is up in price. He's above 600K after he was 500K yesterday because Roma won. Same thing happened to Darwin Nunez. He dropped a ton. This guy was 1.3 million coins. 1.3 million coins this guy was. And now he's down. He was under 500K. I actually picked a couple up for 480,000 coins. And I did sell one just recently at 533K. Um, I'm going to take the no risk approach here as we're heading into this team of the season promo vibes and everything. I'm going to take the money and just make a quick flip out of it. That's a nice like 25, I think. Maybe 30,000 coins of profit somewhere in there for that card. Not bad, right? I also bought a Messi yesterday for 5.1 mil. Tried him for a couple of games and sold him for 5.5. So I got to play with Team of the Year Messi, who I have not played with yet this year. And I uh, was also able to sell him for 125k of profit. So that was kind of my day yesterday on the market, was trying out the Messi and uh, watching those road to the final movements. There's going to be more movements like that today. But none of those cards of that had games this week, like the Cruz, the Pedri, even though Pedri and, and Barca won, right? There's no upgrades coming for these cards today, unless EA mess up. They're not due upgrades because... They have only played the first leg, and it's qualifying for the next round via the second leg and aggregate scores that take them to their next upgrade. So that's yesterday. That's in the past. Let's talk about today on Friday, as it is a promo Friday, guys. But before we get to Team of the Season discussion and Team of the Season talk, we've been really looking forward to a Player of the Month SBC that we expected to be coming today. And it is coming today, but it's not exactly... Who we thought it is not Hyunmin Sun, it is not Cold Palmer, it is instead Rodrigo Muniz from Fulham. Deserved, definitely so deserved, but he is our player of the month winner, and his SBC will most likely come before the 6 p.m. content drop today, as it normally does for Prem Player of the Months on Fridays. Now, here's my hope with this uh, Muniz card. He hasn't had a special card all year long. Not even an inform, which I feel like is weird. If you've winning, if you're winning a player of the month award, you've played pretty well during the month. You probably deserve an inform. He's not getting. He hasn't had one. He is getting a player of the month today, though, to kind of um, commend all of his success over the last month. I hope they juice this card like they did the Harry Maguire player of the month. If you guys remember. That Harry Maguire player of the month, it was a very good card. Everybody went to go and use him because EA boosted him up so much. And I really hope that that's what they do today to Rodrigo Muniz. He is Brazilian. He is Premier League. His base card isn't that great. He has flair play style. He's 3'3", 6'1", medium, medium. I don't know how much they're going to boost the card. Hopefully it's high 80s, kind of like that prediction shows. And hopefully the SBC is cheap. If that is the case, I know there's some really hype Premier League uh, strikers right now that are really good on a low budget. If that SBC is very popular, if he gets a really good boost, just be careful with some other Prem Strikers. I'm not saying you have to sell Robbie Keane, but I'm just saying if that SBC is good, you might see some players like this Robbie Keane drop off in price. Not that he can drop off too much more because he's one of the cheapest 91s in the game. But other Premier League Strikers that still hold some value, especially as a lower tier range, I would be careful with that just because who knows uh, what that SBC could do to the market. Everybody loves a cheap Premier League striker. So that's not content that should be out today before 6 p.m., maybe an hour before that. Let's talk about team of the season, guys. Team of the season warm-up. There was no loading screen yesterday. Literally nothing telling us what was going to happen today on Friday. It was going to be a surprise maybe. And then a couple hours ago, we had a leak. We had an official post as Golazo was ending and as we head into what we thought was maybe going to be team of the season warm-up. It was confirmed that Tots warm-up is 
today. And that was by ASY Foot Trader. He's the only person really on Twitter that has been talking about this. Um, but it's probably pretty much factual, guys. It makes sense as well as it is being leaked. He says, it as, as expected, the next week will consist of warm-up SBCs and objectives. Now, if you want to know more detail about what TOTS warm-up was in previous years, and we dove into the details of what you might even see today that we're not going to go into today because we already covered it in yesterday's video. So make sure you go and check that one out if you want more details on what exactly TOTS warm-up is going to be. But it's all about saving packs and saving for team of the season and getting hype for team of the season. But it maybe could look a little bit different this year. And I do want to talk about how this is going to impact the game today and what in the world SBCs and objectives we might potentially be getting. And of course, are they going to re-release cards into packs? Now, the first thing that I want to cover is some new pack code that was dropped yesterday. I don't know if this has anything to do with stuff that we're going to see in this TOTS warm-up series promo today, but it looks like EA as they're dropping a TOTS warm-up promo today, is starting to prepare for Team of the Season itself. You have a TOTS guaranteed pack that was added to the code with all four versions of Team of the Season cards packable from it. TOTS cards, TOTS moments, TOTS live, and TOTS plus. They also have Bundesliga and uh, Premier League, which looks to be Foot Champs rewards, three player packs from Team of the Season or TOTS moments, and then singular player packs as well. And then there's a live TOTS player guaranteed. And there's a couple of other packs in here as well. Um, Fate and Fantasy Encore pack. Guys, there's a couple of packs in here that are all focused around Future Stars, Fantasy FC, and Ultimate Birthday icons and heroes the fate and fantasy historical pack the fate and fantasy encore pack and then the big one the encore player pick grab bag i guess that uh, encompasses more than just those three promo cards but i have a hunch about today's tots warm-up series promo with these pack code items that have been added it makes me feel like we're going to get packs to do today via SBCs and objectives that we're supposed to save for team of the season. We'll talk a little bit more about those in a second, but I also feel like we might be getting cards re-released today and it might be around those three promos, Future Stars, Fantasy FC, and Ultimate Birthday. That's just my hunch. Now let's talk a little bit more about packs that we're supposed to be saving, like what packs, what SBCs, what objectives are going to be dropping today that we need to like get hyped about to save for team of the season when it actually starts. Right now, the only things that I can think to would be that would be released today would be these eFigs packs, which is very interesting because last year they released league specific packs. And to my knowledge, there aren't very many of those, if any at all, added to the code, unless it was from very early on in the year. And um, we haven't seen those surfaced in a while. I don't know, guys. I don't know what kind of packs and stuff they're gonna drop today. Cause if they drop an 82 times 11 eFigs pack, is that really going to be a pack that a lot of us want? I think, like I tweeted out yesterday, a lot of us would rather have what we had last year, the 81 times 11 Premier League and Bundesliga, and you would start to be able to stack those packs for the specific leagues and open them and save them until it's Prem Tots. You open the Prem packs, Serie A Tots, you open the Serie A packs, and you have a better chance of packing those specific team of the year players when the SBCs uh, or when those players are in packs. So my question is today, what packs are EA actually going to drop? If we go ahead and take a look at the upgrade section, I mean, yeah, there's certainly some SBCs that are expiring today, like the 83 plus team league player pick. I'm very curious to see what that is replaced with um, today. The 83 plus pick, the 81 plus double upgrade are going away today on Friday. I want to check the 84 seven. Okay. The 84 seven is still going to hang around one more time. We're going to be able to do this three more times. That would be a pack. You could save your team of the season as well. If you wanted to, if you're starting your pack save today, which I think a lot of people are going to do. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this, this promo is going to bring people back to the menus on ultimate team because it's team of the season related because people know these promos happen pretty often and it's going to get people in that mode of team of the season and started thinking about saving packs for tots. That's really, if you want to do that, what today is going to kind of start. And to be honest, I might start doing that myself as well. It kind of depends on what is in packs. Like the Golasso cards have been in packs and they will be until 6 p.m. content today. So I'm probably still going to open some things until then. But after content, I might start to decide to change depending on what packs we get out, my opinions on what packs I want to open and what packs I want to save. But again, that's kind of the whole premise of this. I'm just curious to see what actual packs they release and if it's worth it to save. Now, here's the biggest question. If they're dropping SBCs, we need fodder for those SBCs, right? 
Absolutely. Now, here's the question. Do we want to invest? Now, if there's not a whole lot in packs and there's not that many people opening packs, you would think that could be a really good opportunity to invest in fodder. I do think, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I like the 85s. I like the 86s because I think there's potential here. There's a little bit of, I guess, um, risk because you're still going to be in a promo or in a place where um, the 84.7 is giving out a tons of 84s and 85s. The 81 plus player picks are still around. You're going to be able to get a bunch of fodder from those as well. Uh, it's going to it's gonna take some requirements, some specific requirements inside of SBCs, like an 85 rated requirement for multiple players to make these go up, in my opinion. I do think that 85s, 6s, 7s, maybe even 88s with how cheap they are, are potentially investable today. I'm not going to put a ton of coins into it. If I do anything myself, it would probably just be buying some and club stocking, right? I think a club stock, especially because we all want to have all these packs and SBCs that they drop, right? For this warm-up series promo, we're going to want to do them and they're going to be repeatable most likely. This happens almost every single time before a big promo like Team of the Season. They drop an 82 times 11. They make it like once or twice repeatable either per day or once every other day. And as you get towards the middle to the end of the week, fodder prices start to go up because people's clubs run out of that fodder even though there's so much everywhere in this game i think fodder could be a good investment i like the 85s to the 88s for that regard because i think these are going to be cheaper packs that we're supposed to stock up on and save up on it's not going to be like the 90 rated fodder goes up that much in my opinion because it's not like you're dropping icon species on the game that people are going to have to spend hundreds of thousands of coins on. It's more of like those 50 to 80 to 90 to maybe 100,000 coin SBCs they are going to be draining coins in this next week. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. Now, informs. Another question a lot of people are asking, Nate, should I invest in the informs? Because they're down. And this happens almost every single Thursday. Informs do drop off. They're like 27,000 coins for informs. And a lot of people are looking at this and saying, Nate, informs are no longer going to be in packs, right? Well, technically, the team of the week that is in packs right now will be in packs until Wednesday. I could see a world in that EA re-releases informs into packs as a part of the best of today, which could make more informs drop on the market and maybe make inform prices drop themselves. I'm not convinced that investing in team of the weeks will be a good thing unless I see today at content drop that there is multiple of the SBCs that people will be doing to save for tots. Like if some of those upgrade packs today require team of the seasons, they're multiple times repeatable, then I would say, all right, now it's a time to go and buy some informs if you want to try to make an investment because they could go up. But I also think even though the team of the weeks are no longer going to be coming out, EA is going to maintain that 83 plus team of the week player pick in the SBC section that will be a lot cheaper and more craftable than just going and buying a team of the week off the market. So I'm not going to invest in informs, but I can see how that could be a very lucrative place to invest here in the next day, today and into the weekend, depending on how the SBCs shake out. So we'll watch this market closely. We'll watch fodder very closely today and into the weekend, but that's just something to kind of keep on your radar and be careful with because team of the seasons are coming out and team of the seasons are going to be probably allowed in these SBCs tot slash team of the week requirements, which will maybe hurt the team of the prices. We will just have to see. Now, how is it going to impact the rest of the market? If we get cards re-released today in packs, well, you guys know what happens, right? When cards get re-released, they tank because number one, people who have them tradable see that they're in packs. They panic sell, they undercut because they know there's new supply coming in. And that new supply that is coming in makes the prices drop just because they're in packs. Like that's how it works. More supply, not as much demand. Now, I will say this, a lot of the market right now is is actually it's up guys the market is up in a lot of different areas if you take a look at some graphs it looks like the peak of the panic kind of happened on tuesday wednesday thursday uh griezmann was down at 897,000 coins on wednesday like he dropped off a bunch and now he's back up to 1.1 mil i know this is just one car but as i'm looking around a lot of the market i'm seeing kind of the same thing for a lot of these cards Mane on wednesday was 430k he's now six 10. Royce yesterday was 120. He's now 148. Goretzka's up almost 80 to 90,000 coins as well. Even some of the Golasso cards from Team 1. I mean, Colaire was 220. He's now 260. Cafu is up almost 200,000 coins. 
um, Campbell is up, Okocha is up, Charlton is up. A lot of the market, kind of like the panic selling ended because people realized, oh, wait a second, we're all panic selling and undercutting for team of the season, and it's actually not quite here yet. So that's kind of why the panic stopped, but then people realized, wait a second, I got to go play some games. I got to get my rivals games in, got to get my champs games in for this weekend, get those rewards, get that fodder, get those packs. And then people were going right back out to the market and there's way less panic. So that little bit of demand on these rare cards, especially just kind of makes them kick up in price. This Benzema was 300 K and now he's like three, 330, 340. So he's rising up. Uh, the Messi that I traded yesterday, Messi was 5 million coins flat, even 4.9 million. And then went all the way up to now selling at about five, four to five, five. You're seeing a lot of the market everywhere, really low tier, high tier, middle tier, everywhere in between the most meta cards are starting to have a little bit of a bounce back just because there's not as much panic. Now with this coming out and with the word tots and team of the season and getting people excited for tots, there could be some more crashing on the market today. But guys, if I'm going to be honest, I don't think there's as much crazy crashing for team of the season warm up series right now as there was last week. Some of the lowest prices that we saw on some of these cards may have already happened. Now there could be more panic coming later on this week and we'll cover that very closely as we get closer to next Friday, which is most likely when team of the season will be out. And we're gonna learn a whole bunch of new information about team of the season today that we'll have to be very careful with and um, just kind of see how it's gonna move. But I do think that maybe we've seen the lowest for at least this week on cards that were dropping in price a couple of days ago. I still believe that Team of the Seasons will drop the market even further, um, except for a couple of spikes here or there around the beginning of TOTS and the second week of TOTS. But as we go out through Team of the Season, it is almost a guarantee that prices on most cards will probably continue to fall just because of how cheap TOTS cards are, how many of them there are, and the other great content that we get uh, during those times. Uh, wow, Lionel Messi just had a crazy rarity spike on this version as well. The foot birthday was 3.7 mil, and now he is 4.5. Probably not selling there, but you get the idea. The rare meta cards are going back up in price, and it's because there's demand and people are shelling out the coins to go and use those cards. So there could be some more drops in the market today. I'm gonna be mostly liquid just because, again, I'm heading into team of the season. We're heading into team of the season. I don't wanna spend a ton of coins right now. I would not say that this is the time to buy players that you really, really want for your team that are on the more meta top tier. Once we have it leaked and confirmed that if there's gonna be three playstyle plus players, you know, um, three playstyle plus cards on the cards, I just think that that's going to probably hurt the market even more. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys to invest in players that you want for your team just yet, because we are still really right near the team of the season, which can still hurt the market a lot. So we're really just going to wait and see what are the SBCs that drop today? What are the objectives? What is in packs? And what is EA requiring in those SBCs to see how the market is going to move? So I really like fodder, guys. I do. I think fodder is like one of the best investments, to be honest right now in this game. And it seems counterintuitive because fodder is so easy to get, but also I think there's going to be so many people coming back to the game in the next week to get on for team of the season. And they're going to want to get these packs and fodder is going to be what they need to get those packs and SBCs completed. So that's a shorter content Friday video for you guys today. We'll be streaming today, playing some foot champs, um, trying to maybe complete the end of the Mia Ham SBC. I'm almost done there, 13 of 16. I need the 84 seven, so I might have to open them today. Uh, but those would be a nice pack to save for team of the season. I'm still going to hit 80 plus player picks. And of course, all the objective packs that are out and around as well, make it really, really easy to get fodder right now. I'm almost level 30 for the Insigne. Do I get a pack at level 29? I get an 85 for it. That's huge, right? So still a decent day to grind and uh, still plenty to do on this game. Evos as well. Don't forget if you're trying to do an Evo, some of those expire today too. So make sure you check that out. And it's going to be a slower week. Let's be honest. It's going to be a bit of a slower week, I imagine, because EA like to do this as we talked about yesterday, pull back before the big time promo. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because it's team of the season. It is coming after this pullback. And uh, there's still going to be a lot to talk about and a lot to do in this game. They might even drop like a Tots warm-up cup. Like that's objectives are also a part of getting these packs. It's not out of question that we could have another cup or some other gameplay related way to get packs for team of the season. So we'll just see how fancy EA get with it today on this game. But if you're excited for team of the season like I am, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys at Twitch stream today. That link is again down below in the description. It's been Nate for the Peace.